Greetings and blessings, everyone. It's your boy, Chuju. Your boy, Chuju, from the Chuju Show is back. Coming back in full effect. I'm doing this video because of many reasons. And the reason why I'm doing this all new episode, episode 10 of season 3, is because for no apparent reason, I've been blocked by Facebook. Facebook has had me blocked. And then when I try to get back on, they keep on blocking me for a few more days. And then they're blocking me for another 23 um, hours. It's ridiculous as fuck. I don't know why they keep on blocking me. But it's like, I, I'm starting to think that the people who run Facebook are, like, they're racist and they're gays. Because what they do is, I've been called gay on Facebook because I don't I don't want to deal with a certain group of women. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to deal with a certain group of women, so a black dude called me gay because of the fact. The fact that I don't want to date a certain group of women and be with a certain group of women, I was called gay. And then when I responded back, the next thing, the next day came, then all of a sudden Facebook says, you have been blocked from Facebook. And I can't do nothing on Facebook. I can't send anything on Facebook. That is why you see me staying stagnant on Facebook, not being able to talk to anyone on Facebook. And it's wrong. And I apologize to my homeboy, Dennis. I apologize to everybody. Happy birthday. Happy blessed birthday to Amanda Lewis. She's her birthday. It says on her Facebook that her birthday's um, is her birthday today. It looks like she's an Aries, according to her birthday. Today's the 21st. Empire is supposed to be coming back this week. The Charlemagne show came back. It came back as a live show for the new season. I'm grateful and happy. And I apologize to my homegirl, Kavina, that I am not able to respond to her. She wanted me to hit up by 5 p.m. today. It's after 7. I'm glad that Cynthia and them was already was all able to read my message on Twitter. That's all I can talk to you. I can't communicate with you guys at all unless I hit you by email or something else. So let's do this and let's get ready for episode 10. Real quick, we're in the mid-season finale. I'm going to take a break after this for a little bit. Try to get myself adjusted. All right, let's do this. True Emperor's Entertainment. Coming up, taking over this. When I was five, I got introduced to the rap game. Had to make change. I'm a British kid and I knew my name. Now I'm a trooper, but you're back with a new attitude. Back with much for the two, and they call me True True. Much better than ever. Still rocking my stance, man. How many can say they sing right here? Welcome to our all new episode of True Juice Show. We're still in season three. Empire about to come back. I'm grateful and happy. Um, we got some other new shows coming out, like Rebel that's coming out this month. And then Sonalate is supposed to be coming on the show tomorrow. I forgot the name of it. I'm going to go ahead and check it out. I'm going to be recording that. There's a lot of dope things happening. I want to announce also that um, those of you that are that are um, listening to my music and enjoying my music, I got a song, Make It Break It. It's actually making it to the charts. Is actually returning. I think it's number 16, or I'm not sure where it is on the charts right now, but I'm not able to promote it to make it go up. So it's just going to keep going down and down the charts because Facebook is a very racist and very homo. Uh, well, should I say they're very for they're pro gay because at the end of the day, I was called gay to did nothing. And then when I start saying this guy's a faggot for calling me gay, it was a black man too because you know, black man, this, this is what I got to explain to you. I'm not a racist person, I'm not a prejudiced person. But I'm actually talking to someone serious. You know what I'm saying? I love my black woman. And that's the only type of woman I love. But because I don't want to go with a white woman, I'm gay. This is this is the new rule. This is Just so that this is a new law. If you don't like white women, you're gay. Period. As a black man. And other black men with, that are coons all over Cynthia Green's page. And I'm hoping Cynthia G will figure this out. That she's got a lot of um, these snakes that call themselves pro-black or whatever they're supposed to be. And if you don't like a white woman, you're gay automatically that's the automatically assumption so i guess i'm gay i'm a, I'm a homosexual i like men because i don't like white women so i just wanted to address this to cynthia and I hope she will look at this video and see what i'm talking about hopefully other people will get this message out to her because i've been trying to tell her over and over that there's a lot of black men that if you don't if you don't want to date or marry a white woman even though i'm not a racist person because i'm cool my best friend is a white woman 
but it's just I don't want to marry a white woman because I love my black my mother's my mother's black and everybody in my family's black and I grew up to to do everything to keep everything black it has nothing to do with me being racist because most of my friends are white but it's just, and if all my friends that are white all of them are married to white women so because I guess because I guess it's the fact that they don't they don't marry a black woman that they're gay but how could they be make but how can they be gay when they're married to their own race of women so why is it a problem for a black man like me to marry my own race of women or to love my own race of women and to have a sister running my company? So because I don't like a white woman, I'm gay. That is the stupidest thing I ever heard. And this is black men. And Cynthia is right because black thing, black, a lot of black men are some of the biggest coons there is. Like you got coons like Steve Harvey that are dissing a whole bunch of black people because they're dissing Trump because Trump is showing his evil true colors. And then not only that, you got this fool named Tyrese. I was respecting him until he started coming out saying all these things are disrespecting black women and all that stuff and his wife is a white woman well her, his wife is a white woman that happens to be her mother's latina her father white so technically that makes her white and a lot of people realize they know that she's white and tyree said why are you guys mad at me because i i married a white woman while finally admitting that he's married a white woman when he kept saying she was black a black queen she's not no queen you know what i'm saying she just using him for whatever thing he got in his pocket and that's what they do and I'm not trying to say all white women are bad or anything like that, but just because I don't want to marry a white woman doesn't make me gay. My best friend is a white woman, but because I don't want to lay down with a white woman and have kids with a white woman, that doesn't make me gay. And besides, with what's going on with the tension in America, is, is so many reasons why I'm not pro into, into interracial dating. And the reason why, if you look at the recent story that Cynthia G was talking about on her YouTube page, she's also mentioned that uh, a white woman burnt her husband and her kids. she tried to kill her kids and burn the whole family down. And this is a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of, and if you look at the divorce race between white women and black men, it's extremely high. I mean, I don't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to tell you all these things are going on, but it just is what it is. And I, I, I've always loved black women, I always have. In the state of Florida where I live at, 90% of the all 90% of the women out here are white. But just because I don't want to lay with a white one doesn't make me racist and it doesn't make me gay. But people are always trying to do everything they can to make you feel guilty. So why don't we tell all the white men that are all married to their own race that are cool with black people anyway that they're gay because they don't want to marry a black woman then? I mean, black are, are, are you to tell me at the end of the day, are black men really that stupid? And I really got to ask, ask this question, are black men in America really that stupid? Because a lot of them always want to point out, because you don't want to marry a white woman, you're gay. And I'm keeping, I hear this so many times, I hear this like 90 times a day, every time because I don't want to lay down with a white woman and don't want to marry a white woman. It doesn't mean I don't love them. I think they're the most, one of the most awesome people in the world, but I mean, at the end of the day, I would rather marry me a black woman because that's what I love. You know, especially the chocolates, like you got Gabrielle Union, that's a chocolate. You got the sister that's on Star, that's a beautiful, I forgot her name, she's chocolate, lovely looking. The woman from that show, um, that used to be with my wife and kids, the first Claire, the original Claire from Wife and Kids, she's a beautiful sister. Just because I love her, because I love those type of women, or because I love black women, period, I'm gay. That's what it is. Because I think black women are the most beautiful women in the world, like Malika Malat. Uh, what's the other sister name? Let's see. It's quite a few sisters' names I can come up. Kavina, shout out to you. Much peace and blessings. I'm sorry that I'm not able to respond back to you on Facebook, but Facebook has me blocked for another 23 hours. So I've been blocked. First, on Sunday, I tried to do something. I didn't know when, how, because it doesn't tell you, like, when you're banned or something like that, it doesn't tell you anything. So, like, it'll tell you that you've been banned. And then I didn't remember how many more days I was going to be banned for, because I've been banned since last week. Yeah, I've been banned for more than seven days on Facebook now. So, it was like, I can't speak, can't do anything. And then, all of a sudden, when I when I try to respond back to Kavina's message on Facebook, it says that you have been blind, you have been banned for another 23 hours. So, at the end of the day, I might as well just don't even go back on Facebook, because if I try to do something, they ban me. I think Mark Zuckerberg is a queer because at the end of the day, they're so strongly for the gay community. But when a black man is called out by negative words, they don't say anything. So I'm going to call out the people of Facebook that is running Facebook. You guys are evil and y'all despicable people because you have me banned on Facebook for no apparent reason. A black dude called me gay because I didn't want to I want to go with a white woman. And not only that, I called him back. That said, man, you're a friggin' faggot for you're a friggin' faggot for calling me that. Then all of a sudden I'm banned on Facebook. So this is what you got to understand. Facebook is a very racist pro-gay page. It's all about helping the gays and keeping the black people down.
So this is why I had to join this other black Facebook page. I forgot the name of it. So black, it's a page for black people to come together because I realized Facebook is really trying to keep me at bay so that way I don't promote my music and do what I usually do when I'm on Facebook. They monitor me because they're at, they're targeting me. And this is the not, this is not the first time that they've ever done something like this on my Facebook. So I'm actually really aggravated by this. This is the umpteen time that Facebook has banned me for something simple. If you call somebody a faggot, bam, you're blocked. You're blocked just like that. The guy called me gay, but I bet nothing happens to him. But you got to understand this. It's our, own black, it's our own black men that are tearing us up. Because a black dude, because I did not want to, because I don't want to lay with a white woman or marry a white woman, all of a sudden now, I'm a gay person. I'm a faggot. I'm gay. This doesn't make any sense. Are you trying to tell me that the only woman that exists on the planet Earth are white women? Because I don't like a white woman, I'm gay? That is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life, and I have to rant about this, and I apologize. Um, I'm hoping that you'll see my video that I'm making today, Kavina. Go ahead and please look at the video as soon as you can, because I've been banned on Facebook for so many days, and I'm still banned. I can't do nothing, can't post anything. People are like, where are you at? Why are you not posting anything? Because Facebook has, has me banned. And, I, and this is what I'm really thinking. I'm really starting to think I really need to leave Facebook alone. Because I think Facebook is not a good page for African Americans and black people and for people of color beyond because they, they, they're entertained by racist annex by people. You can be called the N-word, the N-I-G-G-E-R word. You can be called that on Facebook. And then, but as soon as you use the word faggot or something like that, they just automatically block you from Facebook. So this is what I'm this is what I come to the conclusion that Mark Zuckerberg is gay. I have to say that because at the end of the day, why would he have such an issue? With what with 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 my freedom of speech, when somebody calls me gay because I don't want to um, lay up with a white woman, because I don't want to lay up with a white woman, that doesn't mean I hate a white woman, and it doesn't make me gay. But at the end of the day, according to Facebook, I guess that is the case because they didn't say nothing about it. And I bet the other black dude that called me that nothing happens to him, but he has a right to call me gay. I can sit down there and take the insults and take the n-word insults, and this is what a lot of black. This is why Cynthia G has been warning us to leave Facebook. And as black people, we need to get smart and get on another page. It's, it's the black Facebook. I forgot the name of the page. I hope she talks about it again. And I'm hoping that she'll look at this video and see what I'm talking about. Because at the end of the day, I really think Facebook is a racial bias page. Because as soon as I say something, bam, I'm blocked. And I've been blocked on Facebook. I can't even count the number of times I've been banned on Facebook. And it's actually got me to a boiling point with me. I'm really upset because... It is not fair for someone like me to be targeted like this. I have a business that I promote on Facebook and have a record label that I promote on, promote on Facebook that is getting some attention. And I'm getting attention into the music industry and I'm getting out there. And I can't highlight my homegirl, Kavina, because of the simple fact is I'm not able to reply. And the only way I can reach her is through Facebook. So I'm really realizing that Facebook is an evil, is an evil website that is all about the gays and whites. It's okay to be white and it's okay to be gay, but it's not okay to be a nigger. You'll be called a nigger. I seen the word nigger pop up on Facebook. They don't even ban them people. Them people still post. So at the end of the day, you could be called gay. If someone call you gay, they're going to stay on Facebook and post whatever they want. So what you got to understand is Facebook is biasly targeting me because I happen to be a, 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 a person of color and I happen to be trying to do something positive because they have nothing better to do than to sit down and be the bullies that they are and to ban me from Facebook, and then when I try to do something, you've been banned for another three days, you've been banned for another 23 hours, so I was like, what's the point of me coming on here, and I can't promote, can't do nothing, because every time when I try to do something, they ban me on the page, so I just want to address to this punk ass motherfucker named Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Facebook and everybody on here, for, for doing me like this, for targeting me, singly, because you're behind voting for Trump, let's not forget you voted for Trump and you supported Trump, the whole world need to blow up and know that you supported Trump. You're supposed you're you're pro gay and you're pro racist. So come out the closet, tell your Asian wife that you don't really love her and you like men. Because at the end of the day, you're blocking me on Facebook because I spoke the truth. You and your people are doing it. So I had to send a message saying you guys are wrong for this. And you know you guys need to take this fucking ban that y'all got on me because I'm really mad. That's why I'm cussing like this. I'm really friggin' mad. I'm like steaming heated because every time when I say something on Facebook, I get banned. Facebook it opposes freedom of speech. They oppose a black man right to defend himself because at the end of the day, I could be called a nigger. I could be called gay. I could be called anything and they don't do nothing. But all of a sudden, when you call somebody a faggot for calling you gay, all of a sudden, you I'm the problem. I've been banned on Facebook. Homeboy Dennis, what's up? What's going on to you? I do greatly apologize that I have not been talking to you lately. All my homeboys and homegirls on Facebook, 
that I do talk to him. I do apologize that I have not been very active. But the reason why I can I can't like pages, I can't do anything. As soon as I like a page, I get more I get more block time. So it looks like I'm gonna be on face I'm gonna be blocked banned on Facebook. It's only a matter of time before they say you're gonna you're gonna be banned on Facebook for a month. You're gonna be banned on Facebook for a year or some bullshit. That's what they're gonna do. So you guys, if you're smart, you need to leave this Facebook alone. I know it's a popular site, but it's a pro-racist site and it's a pro-gay site. They want all black men like me to lay up and be gay because I don't want to lay up with a white girl. And that's why, because I don't want to lay up with a white girl, I'm gay. All of a sudden I'm gay, I'm racist, and I'm a bad person. So I need to be blocked. So at the end of the day, we're living in a country now where it's a, it's, it's a law where you have to like white women or you're gay. You have to be gay labeled as gay by your own black man and there's nothing wrong with it or you have to be a nigger that's the type of world we're living in now so to the end of the day fuck you mark zuckerberg and fuck you motherfuckers on facebook for for, for blacklisting me like this and, and banning me on facebook for no apparent reason you guys need to remove the ban so i can do what i gotta do promote but eventually you know what at the end of the day i think i'm gonna leave you guys on facebook because you guys are a pain in the ass because y'all do this to me this is like the um i can't even count the, the many the, the men the multitude of times when you guys have blocked me from facebook so i can't do anything ban me and doing all this crap so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get myself together keep promoting on facebook like i'm doing and eventually i'm just gonna take myself and move from facebook because i realize this is the only solution you guys want to keep on you guys like uh, the type of people that uh, accept black people money and then at or accept black people support the support from black companies and then at the end of the day you blacklist us and do the do whatever the hell you want to do and keep on discriminating and keep allowing discrimination and all kind of things so i'm going to be called a nigga and be called gay and i'm just going to sit there and accept it because i have no choice because if i go ahead and lash back out you're banned from facebook i realize this and this is what they always do you're banned for this you're banned from that but anyways let's move on let's move on to the topic at hand i am happy that my homeboy charlemagne has got a show called Charlemagne Live. I watch it all the time. He talks about politics issues. He's on MTV. He has returned. Um, what else? Well, what else? New episodes of Mary Jane, which is a mid-season finale. That's coming out tonight, tonight at 10 p.m. I don't know if I'll be how late I'll be up to watch all of that because I, I usually get kind of tired because I work six days a week. I work as a fire watchman currently at um from people ready over at this um area at Norfolk Grum Room that's over there by the, the um, Melbourne Airport that they're still trying to renovate and do new stuff too and there's a lot of stuff I got going on I'm about to go back in the studio and start recording again um I got a new album that's coming out called the in the land of the blind of the man one eyes king I came out with two EPs my second EP is supposed to drop on the 28th of this month so it's be seven days from now I'm gonna be dropping the second EP the first EP is still doing well it's doing so well that I didn't even have to drop the second one yet, but it's 2017, and the one I dropped was from 2016 of November. So technically, it's, a tw it's, it's something still new, and I dropped the second half of it on the 28th of this month. Um, I've been also asked to perform in California last month. I've also been asked to perform in California for this month. So I'm supposed to be returning back. Um, I'm, I'm supposed to be going to ATL. Some of you guys, um, some of you guys are like, um um asking me to come to california i can't go to the people the um, independent music network that i have my um song on that's charting i don't know if it's going to continue to chart and i don't know if it's going to go up on the charts it may go down because i have not been able to promote it but i'm going to vote it back up i got a lot of singles that are on the radio stations that are getting radio play i've also submitted to different places for radio play and i'm getting a lot of attention but i'm getting ready to drop something new um the deal that i got coming through is with um Sirius XM Satellite Radio. I'm gonna actually go ahead and sign that do deal through. And the other deal I'm actually looking at is um title. And there's another deal I'm also looking at. It's um iHeart Radio. So I'm getting my stuff there. We're gaining ground as artists in True Empress Entertainment. I'm actually getting to a point where a lot of people want to sign to this label that I'm that I have. And I just paid the fee to renew the label. So I'm paying legal fees to take care of that. I don't mean like legal fees like going to court or anything. Like I mean like paying to make it legal where you where I run an LLC and you gotta renew it every year. Your annual minutes for them. I just did that like last week. I've been working hard every day, working overtime, getting all these hours in, trying to do what I can to push this label. And I'm getting ready to try and see if I can get my money together to get a ride to where I can start touring to where we can really promote and really make some serious um, bills up. You know what I'm saying? Um, other updates that I have going on right now. Um, let's see. I'm actually working on, um, like I said, I'm going, I'm trying to go to Atlanta, travel to Atlanta to promote the music that, we're, that I'm dropping. Um, I know a lot of people in Atlanta that's in the music industry that are in the radio and everything else. I'm actually going on there. Um, I want to actually touch on the topic about the other day when 
Mr. Steve Harvey basically was like uh, dissing other black people for, for dissing Donald Trump. And I was kind of upset. I was like, why would you do something like that? Why would you why would you keep cooling it around for Trump? Now, I don't have no disrespect for Mr. Harvey. My mom loves him very much. He's a big fan of his. I'm hoping that everything works out with his career. And I hope, I hope that he realizes what he's doing and hope that he get everything together. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, what else I want to talk about? Well, there's a few more things. Oh, the fact that, oh, I sent to Cynthia G the other day about the fact that a, a white woman burnt. She tried to kill the whole family, tried to kill the five kids they have together. And she burnt herself and her husband. She all burnt the whole house down, like just literally burnt it down. The kids survived. They survived the fire like they are unscathed. Um, the husband didn't make it. So at the end of the day, the husband, since he's not gay for marrying a white woman, he did the right thing by laying up with a white woman and getting killed for marrying her. Now, for those of you who saw the movie Get Out, I hope that's a wake-up call for some of you so-called black Americans. I, I think Tyrese is still asleep. And the way he was dissing a whole bunch of black women, talking about weaves, fake hair, and all that stuff. I could give a damn if a, if a black woman I end up with have weaves. As long as she ain't making me pay for it, she take her own money and pay for it, and her nails, whatever, fake nails, or whatever, or fake lashes, or whatever, she's paying for it. I don't care if I just love her because she happens to be a woman. I love her. I love black women. Well, because I love black women, I'm proud to be gay. I'm a faggot, okay? I just wanted y'all to know that because according to Facebook, it's okay to be called a nigger. It's okay to be called a faggot. Um, at the end of the day, um, the other updates I have going on is like I'm making very good progress into the music industry. I'm actually working on wrapping up my make it my make it or break it music video. My make it or break it video, music video is gonna actually not be so much of a video, but it's gonna be a video that kind of like explains my journey to success, my journey to where I am today, and the journey where I'm going. The make it break it video music video will also prove that I also knew Arnell Star and met Arnell Star. We used to conversate before. It'll actually show you in the video that I actually spoke with him in the video. Some of the, the clips will be from 2003, from when I, around the time when I was in Atlanta, Georgia. Currently, I live in Melbourne, Florida, you know where where it's not like how Atlanta is, where the music industry is really big and it's banging. It's like it's it's here and there, but pretty much the music industry is just where I'm at because I'm actually doing something, making a lot of moves and, and doing a lot of songs, and I'm actually trying to do something to where I can get Atlanta to be down here, so where this could be the next Atlanta, but it's going to be very difficult because this is more for like older people and more for adults and stuff like that, and the type of music that I do, which is usually hip-hop, but I don't only do hip-hop, but I'm focused on that right now, but the type of music I do, they don't really try to hear it, they listen to country music, and they listen to reggae. I do reggae, so I, it wouldn't be a problem. But I do mostly hip hop because hip hop is something that comes from my heart. It is something I grew up on, and it's something I'm good at doing. And I can sing and everything else. So my new record, um, in the land of the blind, the, the man with one eye is king, which is supposed to be re-released. But the second EP will come out. The second EP will be a little bit more rap than the first one, because the first one you can hear four job people, which is reggae, and um, another song uh, called um. Holla at me, which is an R&B. That was my first R&B song I pretty much ever done. That on on CD to be released. I'm actually gonna I'm actually releasing another R&B when I when I when I drop the um the, the second EP. It's just mostly mainly rap you're gonna hear. But when I go ahead and put it together and put it together as an album because the part one is doing so good and so the second EP is I know the second EP will do well because it's already getting play and everything already. When I go ahead and drop the other half of it, like how Nelly did, you know how Nelly did Sweatsuit? He did Sweat and he did Suit, like two different albums, then it became Sweatsuit, like it's one. That's basically what I'm doing, but I'm dropping two EPs. And the two EPs actually makes an album because both the EPs have eight tracks. So it's like bonus tracks in them. So you have In the Land of Blind, the Man, One Eyes King, and then the second one is actually called The B Side Edition. And the B Side Edition is hot. So when you hear that, it's going to be raw. Both of them are parental advisory explicit lyrics. And then now I'm going to go ahead and drop the full album later on in the year before my concert with, with um, KVZ or KVZ, you guys call it in the U.S. When that contract expires, I'm trying to make sure before that contract expires that I already dropped the album version of it. And the album version actually still has more tracks that I have never, ever released yet. I actually have some money to go in the studio again to go homeboy, my homeboy with UDI Studios. I'm trying to hook up with him. He's awesome, man. He's awesome as heck. But anyways, man, I just want to say thank you guys for watching the True View Show. Empire will be back tomorrow. What else we got going on? A new show called For My Woman is on. TV One, I watch that every 
time when it comes along for my woman. Remember, you have for my man, now you got for my woman. Um, I'm glad that Port Power Rangers is coming out. The remake isn't as exciting to me as the original. How they whitewashed Rita Repulsa and made her a white woman instead of how she was originally a black woman in the original. But I guess it's okay. I guess they're trying to tell you, tell you the truth of what's really going on, who the real villains are. Because at the end of the day, lately, there's been a lot of craziness going on because in Hollywood, they whitewash everything and change everything and make it different. But one, one thing I did like, they did keep the Power Rangers like how they were in the original, like how they look, how they appear. Hopefully the Green Ranger, hopefully they'll show something with the Green Ranger in it. Because according to the new movie, Rita Repulsa used to be the Green Ranger and then she turned evil. I don't understand this new story they're doing with it, but hopefully they work something out. And what else I would like to talk about? Congratulations, Charlemagne, for coming back. I'm glad because I kept asking where you've been and you finally returned. Um, there's some good stuff that's actually coming out. And I'm hoping that the new stuff that actually comes out will be, you know, that coming to theaters will work. Because I'm actually trying to see Civil War with Captain, I think it's Captain America Civil War. I still haven't seen that yet. I did see the second Avengers, which is right before that. But the I, the um, the um, the one with the Civil War, I think it's Civil War. Now I'm getting them all mixed up. But the newest Avenger, one, the latest Avengers that came out, I didn't see it yet. I don't remember which one it was. I don't know if it was, I know you had um, the Avengers, when they, they had the Avengers. And then you had the Avengers second one where they were all together. Yeah, Age of Ultron. Then they had Cap, no, Captain America Civil War. So that's really not Avengers 3. That's just Captain America, maybe Captain America 2, because Captain America 2 was Winter Soldier. I did see that one. I seen the one before that, which is the first, the regular, um, the first Avenger. But I'm, but I'm actually didn't get to see the one where it's the Civil War between Iron Man and them. And also, guys, check out the show on BT. It's called The Quad. There's a lot of great black shows that are coming on TV lately. Even though we got this orange racist president in office that really doesn't care about the country at all and wants to keep it divided, it is what it is. We still got to fight. People in UK are making fun of African Americans. I'm talking about the black UK, some of them. You got one or two of them. Not a lot of them, but one or two of them. Because and if you realize, if you look at the United Kingdom, England, there really is no black people in power. Black people don't do anything. All they do is sit around, lay up with the oppressors, and sing, and kum, sing Kumbaya, and everything's fine. They forget about everything. They forgot about the, the, the 1970s when Roots had an uprising when they show you how, how racist whites used to do black people. They don't want to show you that no more. I want to say thank you to Cynthia G for making great videos that you're doing. Keep on making your videos. Keep on sending a positive message to people so people will listen to them. I'm grateful and I'm, and I'm happy to talk to you every now and then on Facebook. We don't always get along with everything we talk about. We don't always agree as far as like when we talk about issues. But at least you know at the end of the day that we we as a group of people of color are in a, are in a state of crisis and we can actually get out of this. It's not something we cannot get out, but it's at the end of the day, it's our own black men mainly that are undermining us. Because on your page recently, when I spoke to you, a black man called me gay because I don't want to be with a white woman. So that black man, you need to kick him off your page or ban him off or have a stern talk to him and have him learn some sense and have him get out of his brainwash this that you have to marry a white woman to be straight or to do something in your life. Because I have a little business that I'm running. I'm trying to make it a million dollar business. And just because I don't, I'm just because I don't want to marry a white woman, it doesn't make me a bad person because my best friend is a white woman. But I don't, I don't think that marrying a white woman is going to complete me. Because if you look at the movie Get Out and all these things that are going on in Trump in office, and if you look at the amount, the percentage of white women that voted for Trump, then there's, then I would have that's a reason. But it's so many more reasons, and it's because I really love my black woman more than anything else. I love black women more than anything else. I just can't see that I could love a white woman more than a black woman. It doesn't make any sense. To me, it doesn't make any sense at all. But it is what it is. I'm going to sit down and enjoy these shows and do what I got to do. Be about me. I'm here for peace. I'm here for unity because I don't hate nobody of no race or anything like that. But this is just who I am. I just love my people, man. Because if you look at it, the white man love everybody. You got a lot of white men that are cool with blacks, whites, Indians, and everybody else. And they still marry their own white woman. You got those that are out there. So I guess because they're not married to a black woman or not married out their race, you're gay. Why don't you call them for being gay? It just doesn't make any sense. But at the end of the day, Facebook is what it is. They are evil, they're devious, and they're wicked people. So they're going to keep on. They can keep banning me all they want. I'm not scared of them. They can do whatever they want. I can care if they see this message or not. They can do whatever they want to do, but it's not going to stop me from saying what I got to say because if someone going to call me gay because I happen to love my own black woman. It is what it is. I'll accept it. And Facebook will keep on entertaining the fact that you can call somebody the N-word and all kind of foolishness. 
But I'm going to continue to do me and do what I got to do. Kavina, I know we're supposed to hang out this past weekend. The reason why I haven't been able to talk to you is because I can't communicate you on Facebook, and I do apologize for that. I do apologize to all my friends and everything. It looks like I'll be banned from Facebook for another week because I keep on getting. You've been banned for this extra time, and they just keep on doing it. They're really doing this to sabotage my career. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm really considering either giving, putting them into a lawsuit or really doing something hurtful to them because... This is not fair how they're treating me. And I don't like how they're blacklisting black people. They done Cynthia like this before, too. She told me she's been banned by Facebook before. So this is why she, this is the reason why she's smart to say that we as black folks need to get our own page and stop messing with Facebook. But anyways, man, I want to say shout out to Charlemagne. Great show you're doing. Shout out to Sonal Lathe, who's coming on the show tomorrow. I think it's called Shots Fired. That's the name of it. It premieres tomorrow on Fox or this Wednesday on Fox, however you say it. I'm hoping that everything works out for the best. Peace. Job less and keep it up, man. Much love and respect. This is the True Drew Show, episode 10. I'm going to take me a break for a little while, and I'm going to do what I promote. Hopefully, you guys will follow up with me. Peace and God bless. These are my final thoughts. I just want to say, man, I'm dope. I'm, I'm feel good that the, a show named Rebel is actually coming on BT. I almost forgot to mention her. That show you need to watch. That sister's doing big things, man. Yo, every time I watch, every time I watch that show, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it for, for a salute of my black sisters that's coming up. You got some of these cats in the UK that are disrespected blacks, saying how blacks in America can never rise. Blacks in America don't own their own business. They don't own nothing. You got, see, that's the funny thing is because we're under the radar. I'm one of the few black Americans that own my own business. You know what I'm saying? I'm born in the UK and I'm raised here. So I'm a proud African American doing my own thing, doing music. And my record label, even a lot of people know it's for everybody. It's not just for African Americans alone. It's for people of Caribbean descent, which I am. I'm of Caribbean descent also. And I got people that are born, that are native born to this country that are on my label as well. And I'm looking for artists of Latino descent and everything else put in between. I'm looking of all descent. So I'm getting plenty of love in Pakistan for my music. I just want to say happy belated birthday to my homeboy, Dennis Chin. Happy Blessed birthday to Miss Ananda Lewis. I love speaking with her on Facebook. I wish I could speak to her in real life. She used to be on, I think, MTV for a while or BET, one of those shows. And she's an actress. She's in also, you can recognize her in that video that she did with um, Shy Called Baby, I'm Yours. And she's been doing a lot of things in between. And she's actually got independent records that she released. I think she's based in California and she can sing really well. She's awesome. Um, I'm hoping that I can network with her and maybe eventually do music with her in the future. There's some other artists that I work with that, that I want to collab with, that want to collab with me, that are based in Florida. So I gave them some information where they can hit me up. I'm going to probably see if we can do it by phone where I have them on the speakerphone off my phone. They can, If they can't make it to Melbourne, they can just come off the phone, call me my number, and they can just get into the music that way. Homeboy Scripts, I haven't, I haven't been able to talk to you because I've been working, working like six days a week. It's really like a, a roller coaster ride that I'm on, but a lot of these bills I have to pay because I got to work hard to pay all these bills because I, if I don't pay these bills, no internet, no TV, no nothing, no phone, nothing. So I got to do what I got to do. So I'm on to come up on the way to the top. And I intend to take a lot of people with me. Um, I just want to say salute to my Native American brothers and sisters. We got to stick together, man. And I'm feeling, I'm realizing that also, speaking of that, I may have some, um, what they call it, Taino Ararat in me because, you know, Jamaica, we have a lot of mixture and we're very mixed. I can understand why I got the hair I got. My hair can grow somewhat fast. And when I cut my hair very low, you can see just waves. I don't have to do nothing to get waves. And it's like, being that I was born even a light-skinned brother and everything, you could even tell because I got mixed DNA. Cause my, even my great-grandmother, she's mixed. So that's how you know I'm definitely got mixed roots. I'm gonna find. I gotta find out all our roots. What we have. I know we got some European, some Indian, and other roots. From what I found out, but I like to know every roots that we have. So I'm proud and blessed to say peace and blessings to everyone. My final thoughts is basically this, man. You gotta shine. If you wanna shine hard, you gotta grind hard every day. You gotta keep focused. Don't let these racist people stop you from doing what you're doing, including the people at Facebook. I'm not gonna let them get to me. They can keep on blocking me, doing whatever, but they'll never silence my voice. Um, people like Donald Trump will never silence me. And I'm going to say, just like, like how, I'm going I'm to quote two people. First, I'm going to quote Nino Brown in a different way, like how he said, in order for you to make it. Now, if, you, if, if, I, were, if I were to do something bad, I would have to rob to get rich in the Trump era. Because that's basically what's going to happen right now. So we in the Trump era now, and Trump is facing a lot of trouble. But another quote I want to say, 
Even Trump can't stop the hits. I predicted the shit in true apocalypse. So basically, we in true apocalypse, true true apocalypse now. You know what I'm saying? We about to drop the hits and keep them coming. I got hits on the radio. I got new hits coming out. I'm gonna start messing with XM Sirius, um, XM Satellite Radio, iHeart Radio. There's a lot of people I'm gonna be messing with. So I'm in this to get rich and do what I gotta do to keep making hits and don't let nobody stop your grind and stop your shine. Um, I just wanna say, Kavina, once again, I do apologize. That I was not able to hit you back up, but I've been blocked on Facebook, and I don't know, I know how long my block is gonna last. The more I'm hoping that my block is gone, the more they say we're gonna block you for more days. We're gonna block you for another. It's ridiculous. So I know that Facebook is out to get me. So at the end of the day, that's why you see me in the dark like this because I'm really trying to save money because we gotta pay a lot for our light bills and all kind of stuff. And I'm trying to save money. I'm watching Mary Jane right now. I'm almost to the season finale. That's like. I think two more episodes to go before they start going there because I'm actually paying catch up. And right now I'm trying to get out of this uh, screen saver thing this thing doing. I want to say thank you for watching my show. We got a lot more to go and we got a lot more to come. And I'm hoping that things will work out for the better. As soon as I get to, um, the, I got a few more episodes left. I'm filming the Children's Show. And on season four, which is this year, I'm actually going to try to make all my episodes live. That means the Children's Show is definitely going to be live. And these, this probably be the last time you'll probably see the theme, but I don't know how we're going to work it. But I hope we can just play it in the background, do whatever we got to do. But I'm going to go ahead and um, maybe I'll keep it and I'll just live it and then I'll just shimmy it up together, whatever we got to do. But I'm hoping that things will work out for the better. I'm not going to stop doing what I got to do because I'm a, I'm a God fear. I'm a God fear. And I'm a God believer. I believe in Jah to the fullest. That's why I'm still here and able to do what I got to do. I'm not going to let these racist fakes keep on pushing me back because they feel that my voice is not necessary because I'm a black man. You got people in UK that are doubting this. But at the end of the day, a lot of them don't own their own business. They don't own nothing. They just they just live with the Europeans. They're like, yeah, we're happy together, blah, blah, blah. We're all the happy together. And none of them own their own business. But yet they have never ever talk about black Americans. Some of them are talking stuff. So at the end of the day, I know that we as people in America will rise up. We can't let people, because they watch the news, they think they know everything. And they know everything about us. And they're all up in our business. But they don't know the cool. They in the Kool-Aid and don't know the flavor. You guys, they gotta, I'm in a struggle with you guys in America. I'm in a struggle with you black folks around the world. So at the end of the day, when I do music, I'm going to uplift the masses, do what I got to do and speak the truth. That's why people love my message. If you listen to Can't Leave Rap Alone, you can request it on any radio station. If they don't have it, request it on any radio station that you can request it on. Um, Shake and Twerk is a positive song. It's about women that are successful, beautiful, got curves and everything. And I got other songs like called The Beginning. The Beginning is about me talking about my lifestyle, taking it from getting out of negativity and making it. So you can request any of those three songs. Those three songs are hit singles that you can request. I got a music video to all three of them. Shake and Twerk, I had to do it different because I was blocked because... I'm trying to tell you, as a black man, they're going to block anything. So YouTube blocked my um, Chicken Turk, so I had to do a, the real version of Chicken Turk, the one that I liked, the one I put together, they blocked on YouTube. You can watch it on my official Facebook page. I believe you can watch it there. And it has over 2,000 views. So I hope you guys enjoy that. I got some more stuff that I'm going to drop in the future in the, in the long run, and I hope you guys will check it out. So there's a lot more stuff I got going on. There's a lot of different radio stations that you can hear me on, too, as well. So just because people are kicking me down doesn't mean I'm going to stay down. I want those guys, if you kick me down, then I'm going to trip you down. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I'm going to come out fighting, and you're going to have a hell of a problem. Facebook got a hell of a problem now because they're going to have to deal with me because at the end of the day, they're wrong for what they did. They're continuously blocking me, and they're not letting me speak. I'm not able to promote my hit, make it or break it. If I make it or break it, just drop. I just checked it when I voted it up. It was 16. Now it's number 17 on the charts because I have no way to support it, no way to promote it. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm just going to keep doing what I got to do. I'm grateful and thankful that you guys are here supporting me that watch my show. And those of you that call me gay because I don't want to marry somebody of a different race, hey, I'm proud to be gay. I'm a faggot. Keep calling me that. Because at the end of the day, you ain't shit. Your mama ain't shit. Your daddy ain't shit for raising such a fucking idiot, such a dumb Negro that hate his own fucking women. Because you blasting your own woman, you black men blast your own woman here in America and think it's fun doing that. Sit there and blast them, and that's you going to get anywhere. And then all the black ones going to end up with different race, men, and y'all going to get mad and get bitter and say, oh, she's a bitter one, she's a sellout. That's why Tika Sumter left y'all stupid ass Negroes out here, because all y'all want to do is continue to blast black women and get mad at a black, black man, your own black brother, and call him gay because he he wants to only, he only loves his black woman. So keep saying what you got to say. I'm going to keep doing me, you keep doing you, and be the idiot that you are. But I'm going to keep grinding. But those of you that support my show, show me love, peace, and God bless. Thank you very much. Support the show, Rebel. Support the show, The Quad. 
Support the show called Shoot. I forgot the name of it. Shoot First or something like that. The show is in LA then. Continue to support Be and Mary Jane. Um, support um, for my girl. Those shows that, are, that come on TV One. There are different shows that are coming on. Or for my women, I mean. And all these other shows that are coming on. And support Tony Rock. And um, that show that he got, The Game of Dating, and all these other shows that are coming on. Make sure you look at your, your local TV listeners for times and support your own black shows, man. Continue to show that we as black people have our own power. We have, if we continue to put our buying power into our own selves, we're going to get stronger. We got to stop putting buying power into people that don't love us and don't support us at all. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about blacks need to start supporting blacks. Because a lot of Asians, not saying all Asians, but a lot of Asians don't love us. They love the oppressor, and that's why they keep laying up with them and supporting them and believe anything they say that how black people are evil. So at the end of the day, you black people got to realize and be aware of what's going on so we can get strong and get better every day. So I love you all, man. And I, and I hope that I appreciate you all watching my show. I hope you guys will keep watching and keep supporting it. As we get ready to wrap up this season, I got a few more episodes left. And I'm getting ready to do a season four. And I'm trying to do season four live. So I'm out of here. Peace. Blessings. One.